Hello everyone and welcome to the Siberian Husky Academy. I'm Dominic Ferretto and I'm here today to talk about the following subject, the different types of Siberian Huskies. Today we will try to understand the different body types by analyzing the style of two completely different Siberian Huskies, both part of the same breed. Allow me to introduce Shedi and Cayenne, two pure breed adult males with a pedigree. We often hear arguments that are more in favor of one type than the other. Let's begin with our first subject and body type, Shedi. As you can see, he is tall, long, and has a very athletic style. His tall legs are the heritage of a selection oriented towards sled dog racing. He is shaped to run fast like a sprinter. Let us now look at our second subject and body type, Cayenne. Here you will notice that he is more furry, more compact, and bulkier, with a very well-developed front. When we look at dog shows, Cayenne's body is often the prototype that we see. As opposed to Sherry, the selection process followed here was more oriented towards dogs that have a morphology resembling the one of the famous dog, Balto. Notice how strong he looks. He is not as fast as Sherry, but is capable of strutting for a long time following the same rhythm, which makes him the perfect dog for calm rides on a sled. Some breeders will prefer and prioritize one type over another. These preferences are at the core of debates around the subject of my dog is more typical of the breed than yours. In my opinion, there is only one standard, but its interpretations are blurry. The message to walk away with is that the body of a husky can be different from one bloodline to another. The head, however, has to be typical of the breed. It's by the head type that we recognize at a glance a dog's breed. I'm Dominic Ferretto. See you soon for another episode of the Siberian Husky Academy.